Dr. Qureshi, uh, welcome to NewsX. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Uh, your thoughts, sir, uh, on the situation that uh, we find ourselves in yet again this year as well. Uh, you know, severe is the reading of air quality in the national capital. It's been like that for most of the week and it's uh, logged at severe for the last three days straight. Well, yeah, it is quite puzzling in, in, indeed because we have been uh, seeing this phenomenon for several years now. So I was born in Delhi uh, in 1947. I've lived uh, and uh, grown up in Delhi and uh, things are so different from what they were in our childhood and our younger days. I remember there used to be extreme uh, weather conditions uh, in uh, summer. There, there used to be the uh, heat, uh, what was called Lu, uh, but we don't experience that kind of Lu anymore. Lu was uh, so much that even at night when we slept on the uh, terrace of uh, uh, the third floor, at night we used to get, get the Lu and uh, local uh, recipe, Totka, that you keep Piaz, onion on your bedside and that will protect you from low. So it doesn't happen anymore. So now there have certain, uh, there have been certain positive developments, certain negative developments. There, uh, we, in our time, we used to cook or either on wood or coal that used to create smoke that is uh, not there anymore. Either it is gas or electric. So the pollution should come down. Then a stubble burning must be happening even then. Uh, and the land area, my, my, the land area has not increased. The same uh, acres of land are still around us in Haryana and Punjab, and therefore stubble burning used to happen then. It uh, burn, uh, happens now, although because of restrictions and regulation, it has come down slightly uh, considerably. Yet the problem persists. Traffic, of course, traffic has gone up uh, substantially, enormously, but at the same time. The, the quality of vehicles has also improved. You know, the uh, Euro 1, Euro 2, which is now Bharat 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't know whether it's a Bharat 5 or Bharat 6. So every uh, the vehicle that is coming out is uh, considered uh, to be um, uh, climate friendly. So then what is happening? So um, uh, therefore, I personally feel it is the climate change because when we need rains, they don't happen. Because uh, that was the natural cycle. So whenever pollution was increasing, and when it rained, the pollution disappeared. But it uh, doesn't happen. Uh, it, uh, rain doesn't happen when we need it most. So uh, it is perhaps uh, the disastrous consequence of the climate change. And at, at the same time, you know, the stubble burning, which I have talked In my, uh, uh, about 20, 30 years ago, I was the secretary uh, Renewable energy in Haryana. That is the time when we had a scheme uh, for uh, a small uh, uh, power generation plant, uh, 4 megawatt, 5 megawatt, based on biomass. Biomass is the stubble, the uh, residual uh, residue of the crop, it will be sold and it will be sold to the, it will be bought by the uh, power plant and they will uh, generate power. It was considered a win-win situation for the power plant that they get um, uh, uh, fuel and uh, for the farmer because the, what was their waste and they had to spend their money and effort to burn it was bought by somebody else. So what happened to the biomass uh, plant scheme? We need to review that. So actually for, for me it is quite an enigma. We used to have Diwali also, Diwali uh, celeb celebrated with gusto. But for the last few years, there is a great consciousness, particularly among children. Yes. And I hope and pray that even this year, we will focus on children because when children want to do something, they are very sincere in their effort. When they make it their campaign, not one cracker will bust, uh, let me tell you. So I hope, uh, but I have not heard any uh, advertisement and any message from a leader on television appealing to the children to make it the, their own issue. Yes, absolutely true. Uh, but you know, Dr. Kureshi, you know, every year we have this conversation and every year we are in the same predicament, the same scenario, the same situation. Why are, aren't things improving? Why are long term measures not being taken? Uh, why is nothing being done? Why are we being reactive 
rather than proactive every time the situation comes along. Now we implement GRAP2 and GRAP3 and GRAP4, but you know, no proactive measures are taken, we're just reactive. Yeah, well, quite right. Uh, in fact, that was my first question, because we every year uh, around this uh, time, this becomes the topic. So one reason, uh, but uh, one phenomenon which I would like to flag for you, is it because uh, pollution must be there even in those times, but only thing we were not aware. There was no media, there was no monitoring. Uh, now AQI, every, every child it is on every telephone, on, uh, every uh, person knows about it. We had no concept of it uh, the, those days. Maybe the awareness has increased or maybe pollution has increased. That is the question which has to be answered. And uh, secondly, why long-term measures are not being taken? Because nobody seems to uh, know what to be, what has to be done. In climate change, you cannot uh, do everything, anything overnight. Because to uh, restore our old uh, weather cycle, uh, it will take years, you know, plantation of trees. Uh, the trees have disappeared. That is one uh, major thing. That, uh, but if you uh, start a campaign, it will take 20, 30 years for it to show results. But every year, uh, the problem is discussed. The solutions are suggested, but nothing seems to be happening. In fact, the one uh, interesting or uh, drastic thing uh, which was done initially by Kejriwal government, you know, uh, uh, odd and even uh, day, there will be uh, odd number cars and even number cars. So 50% cars went down and for some days it's some improvement. But to, to my mind, it's not a real solution. I want to travel today and my car is uh, 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 even number or odd number or whatever it is the day. What do I do? It's, a, it's, a, it's very easy to order. If, oh, from tomorrow, uh, odd and even uh, will apply. In fact, it was counted as a great achievement of that government to look, this government is so progressive, it has introduced odd and even. But at what cost and at, uh, at what inconvenience to uh, half the population every day? Absolutely. Also now, Dr. Qureshi, on, on, uh, you know, on, on stubble burning, how are we going to bring about a solution to stubble burning? Firstly, do you believe stubble burning is the only reason for the uh, predicament we find ourselves in? Or do you believe there are other factors at play? Or is this primarily the main factor because of which in the first two weeks of November, we are seeing the kind of pollution we are in Delhi? Is it the stubble burning to blame, uh, mostly from Punjab and Haryana? Uh, and uh, why is nothing being done about it? Yeah, well, uh, actually every other day we hear studies, uh, what is the contribution of stubble burning? What is the contribution of uh, vehicular traffic? So the figures uh, that we see come across are uh, totally different. It, uh, stubble burning is not the only reason, but a major reason. And the government is conscious of it and they have uh, been, in fact, fining the farmers. In, uh, even criminal uh, action was taken against some 30-40% uh, stubble burning has stopped also. We need to do a little more. But I have my own experience in administration has been that on the basis of just your danda, you cannot really enforce. And I'll give you one example. Uh, about 10 years ago, you would see the queues at the uh, petrol, uh, petrol pump of uh, auto rickshaws and taxis waiting for five hours, six hours to fill the CNG. Five hours. So I used to wonder that how much time is going to be five hours? So someone asked I asked the scooter. Do you feel harassed? Do you feel bad about it? He said, no sir, uh, five hours we are waiting for five hours. But uh, petrol is $30 and this is $7 So, mm -hmm. simple economics, people were happy to turn in the queue for, for some time. So, you see, if we convert this stubble into uh, an asset, we can buy it, we can buy it, we can buy it, we promote it, let the uh, clearing the stubble, uh, stubble uh, be taken up by the government itself at its own cost. Why not? After all, we spend uh, so much crores on uh, various development activities and this is very serious. So, uh, otherwise, poor farmer, for two acre, three acre farmer, he will slyly or openly or defiantly yes. will continue to burn the stubble. Okay. Dr. Qureshi, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective on that big story. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.